Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Jester's Court. As of course, I am your humble host, Jester's Blight. Not gonna do a gaming video. Not right now. I'm walking. Um, I think I'm putting my gaming on hold for a while. So I'm gonna try to do something different. But I just need to figure some stuff out first before I start. But I'm gonna do something today, though. I'm gonna talk to you guys. This is not live, so it's not like one of those direct talks to come kind of back, or where you can comment on comment right, or talk right back. This is one of those videos, uh, of course it's not live, duh. Oh, oh, what am I thinking? This is why I don't pause videos, you can see my stupidity fall out of my face. Anyway, I'm gonna talk about something today. Something that actually me and my friend discussed. And I feel like the better majority of the nation, I guess, at least the lower class and part of the middle class and middle class, I guess, doesn't seem to understand. And then the rich who actually care about our plate don't understand either. And they don't get it. I mean, they, they do with the whole tax cut situation, but at the same time, they don't understand the bigger picture. And they probably do, but they don't want to say anything because they know what'll happen. And they won't think it's fair. And it's mostly the corporations. I don't need a tax cut. You know, you need to may drop your prices. Me and my friend talked about this. And it's the most thing that makes sense right now. Because you got all these people going around. Oh, actually, before I actually super get into that, side note, this is not about the teachers neither. Teachers should be paid better. I will say that. Teachers are teaching the future of the country. And apparently they're valued just as much as a minimum wage worker. Which in most countries, they're valued as much as doctors. Because you're, they're teaching the future generation. And we, teach, we, we pay them garbage. They should be paid better. But, now jumping back from the side note. All these people who are... raising minimum wage that 100% 110% probably like 200% is a bad idea the reason I say that is because it's not going to make anything better it's not going to make things more affordable it's not Because when you clamor for minimum wage to go up, you get it. You know you get it. And that's the sad thing. Do you know why you get it? Because big business and corporations don't care if they pay you more. Because they can fix that. Well, lady. Jesus. Don't stop, lady, trying to hit me. Jesus. Anyway. The only thing that's going to fix the problem in the country with people being... What's going to fix, fix it is the cost of living. All of you, what does the cost of living entail? I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to know this. The cost of living entails anything, any purchasable good, any material that is used to create that requires money to buy. All that is the cost of living. And that's the thing. 
You want to sit here and fight and argue about how minimum wage needs to be increased because we can't afford to live, we can't afford anything. It's like, yeah, increasing minimum wage is not going to help. Trapping the cost of living is going to help you. That's what you should be fighting for. That should be the fight. Because what it is, is it starts with where you're buying your goods from. Oh, it's too expensive. That shouldn't be that price. You go up to the next chain, you go up to where they're getting it from. They're charging a stupid price. And you're like, Jesus, really? You go up to the step before that. Like, your car is expensive as dick. And you're like, I can't afford that. So you have to pay it in payments. But your payments are huge. And you're like, this sucks. So. You have to make payments on a car. And that's what like vehicle company, car dealerships want. Because if you could pay it outright, that's less money they're making. But if you make payment plans, by the time you're done, you've paid for the vehicle tenfold. Same thing like places like Renaissance Center. They don't want you to buy the item outright. They want to charge you. They want you to rent it because by the time you're done paying it, you've paid it ten times the cost of what the item actually was. And you people are like, oh, I can do rent a center. So I could just stop and give it back. Yeah, but by the time you give it back, you've already paid it off. But the payment plan isn't done, is it? Because it's your car. First, we'll start with your car. Your car is expensive. You get a brand new car. It's expensive as dick, so you're going to have to make payments on it. And it's generally ridiculous payments. So you either make tiny payments and pay on it forever... So you decide to lease it. So if you don't want it, once your lease is up, turn it in and get another one. Big deal. But then there's another thing. There is... Hold on. We're at the corner. Sorry. Hey, it's money. They work part-time. But no, your car dealership's gonna charge gonna charge you either a lot to buy the car outright, which they don't want, or a new payment plan. Either gonna do small payments forever, or do large payments, hard to pay payments, but you'll pay your car off sooner. But by the time you're done paying your car off, you've paid more than what your car's worth. Way more than what your car's worth. That's what they want. That's where they make their money. And that's what it is. <sighs> you know, I don't talk about the around people. Wait, hold on. <gasps> anyway. But then, you go from that car dealership. You jump up to where they get their materials from. Right? They jump up where they get their cars from. The companies they're getting their cars from. Now their cars, they're charging, they have contracts with these dealerships, but they're still charging you a buck, they're charging them a buck per car, more than probably what the car actually took to make, but that's still a lot, what the car took to make is probably a lot, now you go up to the next stage, where did that company get the materials from, how much are they charging the company for the materials? That's your next one. Where did they buy their materials? Where did the materials come from? That's the next one. It all starts at the top, though. Because the top wants to make the most money. They can get their things for dirt cheap. For the car dealerships, they can get their materials. <laughs> wherever the materials come from. Those people that get the materials, get them for dirt cheap. And you know they do. They get them for so much, so cheap, and you're just like, holy crap. But they can be good materials. So they're going to sell them to the next person for 20 times the cost of the item. 20, 20 times the cost of the material. So it costs, it's horribly 
costly to make this product. Make the, make the, make the parts that the companies have to buy to make the vehicles. Make the material parts. So now, by the time, by the time that it comes down to the actual vehicle, the vehicle's probably more than a thousand times worth of what it actually was going to cost to actually make it. This goes for everything. Even farmers. Farmers don't want pests. So they have to buy chemicals to spray their crops to keep the pests away. Yes, the chemicals aren't always necessarily good for people and cause problems. But at the same time, sometimes they're not. But regardless, they want to keep the pests away, they have to buy pesticides. Okay, jump from there. Where'd they get them? Where did they get the chemicals and all that from? Whoever they bought them from charged a lot. Now I'm gonna say, why are you charging so much? Because the materials I need to make them are so much. Go there. Because what it, the labor it took. It's like you could afford to pay everybody that got those materials a decent amount. You made it so that way it's affordable. You didn't take that much to get them. So you don't have to pay out the butt or charge out the butt for the next person down to buy it. That's the problem. Because by the time you get to the farmer's hands, it's 20 times, like again, probably like 20 times the cost of what it was going to take originally. The guy at the top decides to charge the most. I know materials can get scarce. I see that. But doesn't mean you need to screw the next guy. But that's what it comes down to. You screw the next guy down the line. So that way they have to screw the guy after them. And then they just keep playing screw the pooch. Until it gets to your hands. And by the time it gets to your hands, you have to pay so much more than it was worth. Back in the day, a can of soda was probably like, what? A, not even a dollar. Probably what, like 50 cents? People are making more because people, throughout the eight, throughout the years, raise the wages, raise the wages, raise, raise the wages, is what it keeps, the game keeps getting played. Because the companies are charging more, because the person at the top thinks they can get more money. So they do. They charge more for the materials. And it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. If you drop the cost of living, if you drop the cost of every single thing that you put out. If you cost, drop the cost of the materials, you wouldn't have to raise minimum wage. You wouldn't have to raise the wages. People could afford to live. Yeah, the upper class is still be the upper class. They could afford more. But the lower class, the lower class could no, well, the lower class and the middle class would disappear. All you would have is your regular people from the rich. That's all you have. You wouldn't be worried about rich or poor because people could afford to live again. They could afford to do things. They could afford to get things. They could afford to take care of their families and have a nice house. They wouldn't have to rent apartments, which end up being more expensive than getting a house anyway. People could go out and buy houses instead of having to put down payments on because they can't afford to get it and then lose it because the bank says you didn't make, you missed a payment. People could afford to do things, could get things. And yet, we want to play happy go, no, no. 
you don't get to have nice things. Every family struggles to make ends meet. And you want to just be hell okay with that. When you keep wanting them to raise minimum wage, that means you want them, you, you want to be happy with them playing screw the pooch. That's what you want. Just saying. So it's either fight to drop the cost of living or be happy with screw the pooch. Take your pick.